Hi guys, you're welcome once again to dissecting our devotional for Koinona Christian Center. Today is the 18th of April and our topic for today is releasing your faith by your actions, part one. Remember, the caption under this post will be the full devotional. So please make out time to read it. Go to the Bible verses read ask the holy spirit to give you understanding and i promise you you'll be so inspired you'll be so blessed that is a promise please do read it okay let's uh, get down to business you know today we'll be drawing our inspiration from our text scripture which is mark chapter 5 verse 25 to 34. you know in that passage we encounter a woman who has been suffering from a bleeding condition that has lasted for 12 years she had she heard about jesus and she believed that if she could just touch his clothes that she would be healed she stepped out with that with unwavering faith she pushed through the crowd and she reached out to touch the hem of jesus garment and instantly she felt in her body that she was healed you see this woman's actions demonstrates a powerful release of faith she didn't just believe in her heart but she took a step forward and acted upon her belief she didn't allow fear or doubt to hold her back instead she boldly pursued jesus and she received a miraculous healing that is why you my friend we are called to release our faith through our actions not just saying we have faith we have faith not putting actions to back it out because faith without action is like a lamp without a flame it remains dormant and ineffective you know in james chapter 2 verse 17 it reminds us that faith by itself it is not accompanied by if not sorry if not accompanied by action is dead you know, our faith comes alive when we put it into action. You might ask, so how can we release our faith through our actions? First, we must align our actions with God's will and His Word. We need to study and meditate on the Scriptures, allowing them to shape our thoughts, our attitudes, then our actions. In Psalm 119 verse 105, it says, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Secondly, we must step out in obedience, even when it seems difficult or uncertain. You know, in Abraham, in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 8, is a wonderful uh, example of this. You know, he stepped out in faith, not knowing where he was going, but he was trusting in God's promises. When, when we take that step of faith, we can work wonders in our life. When God gives instructions and we take that faith, Take that work of faith, you will be surprised the kind of wonders God will work in our life. Lastly, we must persevere. We must persevere in our actions of faith, even when we face challenges or setbacks. Like, for instance, the woman in Mark chapter 5, she could have given up in the face of the crowd. The crowd was so much. She could have given up all these past 12 years that she has been suffering with that issue of blood. She would have said, she would have said, no, I can never be healed. In fact, I'm not, there's, there's no need. I'll, I'll go this way. But she persisted. She did not give up. In Galatians chapter 6 verse 9, it encourages us that let us not become weary in doing good. For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, my friends, let us release our faith today through our actions please let us step out in obedience align our actions with God's words let us persevere and not give up in faith you know as we do we will witness the miraculous work of God in our lives and then we will experience his abundant blessings I pray may God may the good Lord grant you the strength and courage to release your faith through your actions in Jesus name Amen Thank you so much for watching. Though short, as short as this video might be, I believe it, has, it will inspire you into holding on strong, into believing, into persevering, into taking action. Don't just sit there and say, oh, uh, I'm having faith, I'm having faith with the action. Get up today. Do that you ought to do. That thing you need to do, do it. Do not give up. God bless you. Thank you for watching. I'll be again here by God's grace tomorrow, dissecting our devotional for tomorrow. Please like this comment if you feel inspired by it. Uh, comment if you have any opinion, you have your own opinion, if you have a testimony you want to share. 
then share it so that another person can be inspired. Don't break the chain. Remember, I love you, for Jesus loves you more. Take care. Bye.